The police report says that? I yes, have the police it says, report. complainant it does not says that. male in the area. He drew a firearm and said that he had the right to carry a firearm. Male Correct. chased them around the neighborhood. Male is parked in front of complainant's home. Correct. Male is in a gray Dodge Charger. Correct. Brandished a firearm to the complainant and her nieces. Male kept asking complainant if she wanted to see it. Complainant's husband is outside speaking with the man at this time. Male just displayed the weapon. No disturbance. That's what it says. Correct. That's not you calling a non-emergency number. I don't give a rat's behind whether you call the non-emergency number. Fair enough. The way you presented it to me, you made the phone call first when, in fact, the plaintiff made the phone call first about your strange behavior. Incorrect, ma'am. No, that's not incorrect. Yes, ma'am. So, Bear County non-emergency, when you call their no, non-emergency number... No, no, listen number, to me. I want you to... Call takes I, want you to I want you to listen... I'm listening to ...to you, what I just said to you. Correct. And what you said to me, Mr. Gorman... Correct. You said to... Do you live with him? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> I want you to remember what you said to me. What mm -hmm. you said to me was you were putting up some tape... Caution tape, yes, ma'am. Don't repeat what I say. I didn't ask you anything. I have a very good memory. You were putting up some tape and you noticed a car sitting opposite the plaintiff's house. You finished putting up the tape and you went back to your house. Now, at Correct. that time, you had to walk back to your house, get your car. Mm -hmm. In between that time, her niece called her from the car and said there is a man with a gun. So, evidently, when you saw her sitting in the car, somehow she saw you with your hand on a gun. Then you went and got your car, you came back, she perceived your car and took off. You followed her. You said to me it was at that time that you called a non-emergency number reporting. Correct. She had already called the police. Mm -hmm. According to this, she had already called the police on a suspicious man with a gun. The call time was 2341.58 is when they picked up that time. I called them around 2330, if not before that, reporting that a suspicious vehicle was in the area. However, I had to wait and hold queue before Mr. I could Gorman, talk to anybody because 911 Gorman, takes Mr. priority. Mr. Gorman, you were out of line. How so, ma'am? Uh, just a second. You were out of line. It's the same reason they voted you out of the Homeowners Association. No, All right, now let's story. move on with... Now I would like to hear about the shed. So Mr. Gorman and my neighbor directly behind me were complaining on Facebook that I had a shed on the property. I hadn't received permission. It was too large. The roof composition wasn't the same. So the neighbor directly behind me. Do you have a photograph of your shed? Yes, ma'am. I'd like to take a look at it. So I was asked to... Not what you were asked to. You're showing me a picture of your shed. It's in black and white. Is there any reason why anybody takes a black and white picture? Well, I printed it. I apologize. It wasn't... I printed it. Um, why? Why didn't you just bring me the picture of the shed? I left an entire folder. I apologize, ma'am. Where? At home. Oh, well, that's, um, not my, that's not my problem. Right. So okay. I have a violation notice here. I was told to get into compliance. The roof composition had to be the same. I hired an individual to come. It was actually a metal roof. What was it supposed to be? It was supposed to be the same as my home. So okay. I did that. So okay. then I was told in the violation notice that... I'd like to see the violation notice. I was told that I needed to get into compliance and request permission for the I'd shed. Let me just look at the notice. Yes, ma'am. Okay, it says that you had until August 31st of 2017. So this was a year after the original incident with your niece. Yes, ma'am. However, okay. in between, Mr. Gorman had approached my son at the basketball court, okay. harassing let's, him. Let's, let's get to the violation. Okay, so I filed the notice, and it was denied, and they said that I Don't wasn't... Don't tell me what they said. Well, the letter. Show me. It says that... Don't tell me what it says. I can read. Okay, so they said that it was not placed five feet from either the back property line and the side property line, and that it appears to be greater than eight and a half feet tall, which is not in compliance with their regs. Was that accurate? No, ma'am. 